Hello, welcome to SI Technologies. So today, another interesting question, which I'm coming here. So let's go with the another SQL interview question. So specifically, these questions are asked in ETL testing as well as data engineering. Let's get into the topic. Okay. So let's go here and we'll see the question. So the question is, get me the employee names whose salary is greater than their manager salary. Which means, okay, the question is very simple. Okay, employees and managers, two people are there. Okay, but employees are earning more than their manager. Okay, those employees, they want it. They, those employees, they want it. So for this, we have to write the SQL query. So before getting in, before solving this particular thing, right, let's try to understand, okay, what is the relationship between an employee and manager. So think of it in a practical way. So every employee, so whenever you are going to become a manager, right? First, you should be an employee, right? So employee is the primary key and manager is a foreign key. Can we go ahead and check in a database? Let's see that. So you go here. Okay, you go here. And first thing is, let's list the tables. Okay, here you can see employee, employees. Okay, in employees, if you can go here, constraints tab. In SQL developer, you can go to constraints tab, which is going to list down the list down the primary key and foreign keys. Primary key and foreign keys. Now you can check it out. Okay, now you can see here in the line number four, employee is a primary key. Employee is a primary key. At the same time, if you see here, manager id manager id is a foreign key here okay here you can see line number four employee id is a primary key and manager id is a foreign key foreign key but is it present in two different tables no it is present in the within the same table within the same table to confirm that here you can see the structure of the tables so these can be called as hierarchical query suppose now very simple. Now we wanted to make it employee table separate and manager table separate. To do that, what we can do? We can use the self join. We can use the self join. So first thing, very simple. What we have to do? We have to go ahead and we have to create a two tables. How we can do that? By using the alias names. By using the alias names. How we can do that? Very simple. Okay. Very simple. Okay. So make it very simple. So let's say select star from employee E. Okay. At the same time, inner join. Okay. Inner join. So employees. Okay. Same table we are using. Just making it as an alias name. On what basis? On what basis we are going to do that? See, primary key, foreign key relationship, right? Whenever you are going to join the tables either if it is a database level or dbms level you have to use the primary key foreign key relationship or common columns common columns which are available between the tables but here primary key is present as well as foreign key is present foreign key is present so what is the first thing which we wanted to do e dot manager id e dot manager id and e dot employee sorry m dot employee id m dot employee id so first let's understand okay let's understand data then on top of it we'll go with the we'll go with the output okay how the output see here 100 is the employee id who's his manager null okay he doesn't have any member any member so if you see here right 101 102 who's the manager 100 now for Nina and Lex, for Nina and Lex, who is the manager? Steven is the manager. Steven is the manager. Can we prove that? How we can prove that? So simply, okay, E dot first name, E dot first name, and then M dot first name. Okay, M dot first name. Okay, let's try to understand this. Let's not make it complex. It's a easy. Okay. See here, okay, Nina and Lex, okay, where is this? So here we can add one more thing, okay, 
here we cannot even see or uh, let me go ahead and filter it down here okay nina uh, i think let me rerun it again so make it clear so simply let's find it here here you can see right lex here you can see lex who's the manager steven steven okay like that okay so in this case first one we can consider as employee name employee name okay employee name here second one we can consider as manager name manager name manager name okay manager name now now what we have to do what we have to do the question is what we have to do let's go to the again ppt here okay get me the employee names whose salary is greater than their manager salary so first let me list down the salary as well employee e dot e dot salary nothing but a as employee as e dot salary you know employee salary m dot salary is nothing but a m dot salary okay m dot salary nothing but a manager salary manager salary so now let's see okay let's see here okay can we see here employee salary is having less compared to here okay now one or other place let's find out something okay which is having salary employee salary is more compared to compared to compared to manager salary manager salary now let's understand let me take this data and uh, let let's let me show you in a simpler way to make it and okay along with join condition what i'm making i'm making as and then here what you have to do you have to go ahead and you have to use the you have to use the okay what is the thing which we have to use it okay simply you have to use it where where okay where where specifically that particular salary right so you have to understand which salary is belongs to which okay so very simple right try to understand this okay very simple here here for e dot e dot salary is equals to whom whom salary employee salary okay e dot salary is employee salary now okay now m dot salary is whose salary manager salary then is it simple or not let me make it very simple way that's it okay then you can see here okay lisa is employee whose salary is get having 11500 but uh, her manager is gerald gerald is having 11000 at the same time ellen is having 11000 and her manager is having 10500 so to summarize it in an easy way okay so manager manager id and employee id employee id is the primary key and manager id is the manager id is the foreign key foreign key so when you are joining these two right so manager whenever you are doing this manager id right so with e e whatever we have a alias name right with e whatever it is coming it is associated with the it it is associated with the employee details whatever it is coming with m right it is going to be it is going to be manager details manager details when you join between primary key and foreign key whatever it is matching along with that along with that what we are checking employee salary is greater than manager salary same thing i am doing here just it is a i am adding a conditional condition that's it guys thank you and one announcement which i wanted to make we are going to start etl testing new batch on november 25th if you are interested to join the particular etl testing here we are going to cover 30 days of sql classes other than that we are going to cover data warehousing concepts and unix classes and informatica power center and and after that we are going to cover end-to-end -end etl process how it is going to be and i'm going to show end-to-end -end with the informatica power center once we have done that right on a beneficial perspective so additional thing which i can provide you add azure azure project azure etl project in the cloud okay so in azure i'm going to create a one etl project and i'm going to show you in in 
cloud so that you are not going to you are not even though if anybody ask you whether you have worked on azure cloud you can mention that i have a good knowledge on that i have not worked on and if you can explain that project that would be a great okay thank you guys have a great day ahead